Major spoilers for The Handmaid's Tale follow. The season 4 finale of The Handmaid's Tale was wild. As Yvonne Serhovsky, the actress who plays Serena Waterford in the show, called it the most satisfying finale yet. Now that Fred is gone, can we actually see the fall of Gilead? Let's find out. Two. Fred Waterford is gone. The Handmaid's Tale Season 4 looks like just the beginning of the fall of Gilead. Despite making slow progress over its course, the show seems to be finally moving ahead with some major changes that happened in the last season. Season 3 ended with Gilead being just a bit shaken, and Season 4 saw June take things into her own hands, along with finally showing how powerful women can be. Oh, and the way she did it, so satisfying. The Handmaid's Tale is one of those shows that adores cliffhangers. Season 3 ended on a big cliffhanger when June, played by Elizabeth Moss, sent a huge number of children away from Gilead to Canada. Season 3 proved to be bad for Fred and Serena on the other side, maybe not as bad as Season 4, but both of them were previously captured by the Canadians as they were sharing some revelations about the Gileadian government. Back then, fans were coming up with different theories about the end of Gilead, and they all expected Fred and Serena to start talking in exchange for their freedom. The Handmaid's Tale showrunner Bruce Miller had an interview with TV Guide and he explained how Fred being captured is a big deal. On his capture, he said, Will it make Gilead unstable? Gilead is already unstable. And then boom, season 4 finale happened, but before we saw Fred on the wall, Gilead was already messed up because of many things. As they try to take back the children and the Waterfords, this is where June comes in as she used this busy Gilead situation to finally pay her revenge. Nevertheless, the showrunner also teased some things about June, and according to him, she might not survive this journey. As he said back then, she has a lot still to come at her. Maybe season 5 will see June saving her daughter Hannah, but she'll have to pay the price of it with her own life. The show often projects the parent-child storyline, and maybe, just maybe, June deciding to lose her life in order to save Hannah and, or, take down Gilead completely will be the conclusion of the show. What do you guys think? With such frightful details being released by the showrunner, can we see a happily ever after for June and her daughter? Now back to Gilead and its fall. Where are we going, son? Where are we going? Yeah. Gilead will go after June. Making the decision of taking Fred down also meant June choosing Nick over Luke, and that was one of the many twists in the last season of the show. Now, fans are left with millions of questions including Janine's future and Serena's revenge on June, but the most important question is whether Gilead will be standing still in the fifth, very anticipated season of The Handmaid's Tale. Fans can't forget the headless corpse of Fred Waterford, stung up on a wall sprayed with the famous Nolite te bastardes corborandorum. As Bruce Miller told The Hollywood Reporter, June now sees this image every time that as she closes her eyes. It's pretty clear Gilead will go after June the next season. After all, she was the one who put Fred on the wall. However, we needed you to keep in mind that Gilead people don't really care that Fred is gone. What they care for is how June and the other handmaids decided to punish him. It's the way that matters. So guys, what's next? We have plenty of time to think of some reliable theories since season 5 won't be released until spring summer 2022 at the very earliest. So until then, here's what we should expect. Fred will come back. Well, Fred certainly lost his life despite some theories claiming he's alive, but he'll again appear in the fifth season. Only this time his appearance will be through flashbacks. We do have quite a heavy flashback show, Miller said. He also described the loss as neutered a little bit by knowing we're going to be seeing him again. He then said these flashbacks will be about him and Serena showing some fascinating stories that include only the two of them. Can you guess what kind of flashbacks Miller is talking about? Serena will go after June June wanted to make sure she's the one who tells Serena the bad news of her husband losing his life. She, however, did this in a slightly brutal way by mailing her his wedding ring, along with his severed ring finger. It's now clear that Serena will go after June in season 5 and according to Miller, we're about to see a white-hot fever of revenge, as he told THR. Even though Serena didn't like Fred and they have a complicated relationship, it's now a June-Serena thing. She'll want to find a way to metaphorically or realistically get June for this, added the showrunner. Nevertheless, based on June's actions, it seems like she wants this. Do you guys think she actually wants Serena to go after her? 
when I'm begging for the Lord's mercy and for you. Season 4 hints the end of Gilead. First, we saw June's escape from Gilead, well, after what seemed like an eternity, and then she did what she did to one of the most famous villains of the show. All of Gilead is now shaking from the result of June's actions, and when you think about it, one person that is most frightened by it is Aunt Lydia. Actress Anne Dowd talked about June's escape in an interview with Elle, and she thinks her character holds herself responsible. So do the commanders. She knew something was happening, and she didn't follow it to its core. Season 4 perfectly showed why Aunt Lydia will eventually turn against Gilead. Things aren't going great for this character, and everything that happened at Season 4's end happened on her watch. However, the fact that June and some other handmaids escaped, yet again, under her watch is only making things worse for the end. We also need to mention that despite her rude tone and the dystopian society she serves, she seems to care about the handmaids, meaning that we're about to see the fall of Gilead in the next season. Before season 3, we didn't see any progress or surprising development on this character, but ever since the season 3 finale happened, we've actually witnessed a slow but certain transformation. In Margaret Atwood's 2019 sequel novel to The Handmaid's Tale named The Testaments, it's said that Aunt Lydia is working against Gilead from the inside from the very beginning. The show differs from the novel, and it's really difficult to think of a twist that will pull off this storyline, but we can always see a twist in which Aunt Lydia starts working against Gilead at some point later. We're pretty sure we're gonna see this since The Testaments is going to become a show as well, and this storyline of Aunt Lydia betraying Gilead will somehow serve as a plot base for the next show. In the fourth season of the show, Lydia isn't so harsh on Janine, and this could only indicate the start of her betrayal on Gilead. While the other ants work on sending Janine away, Lydia cares and holds Janine back from ending up at a breeding colony. And Lydia also listens when Janine talks, so it may not be some major change, but it's certainly a visible one. We couldn't go on without mentioning how amazing Anne Dowd's portrayal of her character is in the show. On the question, if she can imagine staying in that world, she unsurprisingly said, No, you'd go mad. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, speaking about the challenging scenes she's been involved in, the Emmy-winning actress said, when scenes are particularly emotional or challenging, of course it'll stay with you until you let it gently go. But we don't take it home because, at the end of the day, the consequences don't come home with us. Back to our theory, Season 4 is the season where we saw how The Handmaid's Tale is raising questions for Gilead's downfall, and perhaps even the conclusion of the show. And again, in the Testaments, Aunt Lydia is the person that finally puts an end to Gilead. I think it's a stain, Aunt Lydia. You're in Aunt Lydia, stop! Do you guys think we'll see the fall of Gilead in the fifth season of The Handmaid's Tale? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.